Hi guys, back for another episode of Scratch. In this tutorial, we are going to be making a Pong game, which is a fairly easy tutorial, as you all know, because Pong is a very easy game to make. And I'm going to be going with the retro style of the game. You can do whatever you choose. I'm just making our bar here quickly. And scripts, events when left arrow key is clicked, motion change X, by minus two and when our right arrow key is pressed we want to change x by plus two so let's quickly test that out and it is working good so now i'm going to make our ball which is going to be blue colored there we are and scripts events when flight clicked forever motion move three steps and then if on edge, bounce. And then control. If then, and we want to add an or into there. Sensing, where is that sensing? Touching, sprite one. Or, we're just going to quickly make that, but it's not going to have any code in it quite yet. Touching, 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 touching. Sprite three, motion, turn operators pick random 135 to 180 okay so now we should have that working so as you can see it's being kind of weird oh yes it's because we have it in motion turn operators if then, sensing, touching. <clears throat> Actually, that works quite fine. So we're just going to have it though, starting off right above the paddle. And you can see it bounces off when it hits the paddle, but we want it to be traveling down. So motion, point in direction 180. And when the flag is clicked, we want this to go to zero, zero. There we go. And then what I'm going to want this to do is motion go to zero, 10. See, so it will bounce off and then you have to move the paddle to catch it. Maybe the paddle should be a bit lower. So instead of zero, zero minus 50, let's say minus 100. And instead of that, minus 80. There we go. And I am going to move our paddle over here. And if I can get a few, like one, two likes, I'll make this game like I can do a uh, less retro version, like a version that's newer, where there's little guys that shoot at you and you have to hit them with the ball. But for now, I'm just going to be doing the retro version. So with costumes, I'm going to want to make it red. And there we go. And scripts, events when flag clicked. Repeat, uh, let's see here, 50, uh, so let's see, so maybe one, 204 to 170, that's about 50, and then that is eight, so about, let's say nine times, motion, change, X, by 55 and create clone myself to see if that works okay that didn't quite work how we wanted it to but 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 oh yes we're going to want it to go over here first okay that is a straight line across so maybe 65 
and eight times. Let's test that. No, oh, come on, get over there. And we want it to go there when the flag is clicked. Okay, this is a bit confuzzling, so maybe 85? I don't know. Okay, that's a lot better. And we'll do it six times, and instead of 85, we will do 75. There. And then maybe 78. Maybe 80. Just trying to get that little side one off. Maybe 81. Come on. And... Instead of doing six, we'll just do five. There we go. Looks fine. Then change Y by minus probably 20. And motion go to X minus 203. Y must say 100. There we go. And then do this again, and Y40. Okay, let's test this out once we get to Y60. Okay, that's being a bit weird. Oh yes, that's because we don't have the repeat five times there. There we go. Okay, we actually want it to be six, six, and six, and we want this to hide after. <clears throat> there we go. And when flag clicked, forever, if then, touching sprite two, wait 0 0.1 seconds, and delete this clone. Oh yes, when I start as a clone. Come on. Oh yes, we want it to show. Okay, so now you will see that they are not disappearing for some reason. There we go. Oh, and it missed my paddle. I have to make the paddle, let's say, a bit bigger. Like, it doesn't need to be that much bigger, but just a bit bigger. There. And there we go. We can bounce it up and, like, hit the paddle. So then it bounces up again, hits a block, comes back down, hits the paddle, hits the block. And that is basically the game, except we're going to make the backdrop black. So you can see everything a bit better. And that is how you make Retro Pong in Scratch. So remember, if you want to see it kind of like turned into a Galactica type game, then leave a like and subscribe. So that was another tutorial on Scratch.